right, welcome to the 2014 edition of the Arsenal video. First, we'll be going over my Arsenal, and then we're going to do uh, Zodiac's Arsenal. So, um, first off, this is the gun that I've been fielding recently, the VFC Scar L. And recently, I've got this badass grenade launcher right here. And um, there's this is the first time any of you are seeing it, because if I don't shoot it in video, you're all just going to dislike it. So, I'm just doing it for Arsenal video. So, I will get a grenade for this. And um, it's pretty beast. It also has an angle foregrip. And I've been using it in game, and it does really good. Fully licensed by FN and everything. So, this gun has a moderate rate of fire, and it has 400 FPS out of the box. Second FN product that I have here. Well, not this is a product. FN gun from GNG. GNG GR16. This gun sucks. <laughs> and uh, mine just doesn't work. The trigger contacts and the trigger box are all uh, fucked up pretty much. And I just have a silencer on here because uh, it's fun itself. I think it looks cool. This gun has an adjustable spring. It can probably go up to 400 and I think down to like 350, right? Mm, I think so, yeah. Yeah, 350. It's got a two-stage trigger, which is where all the fault comes into the design. All right, so the next gun I have is uh, the Jelly Spread RX-4 Storm Hurricane Battle Rifle, EO4. It uh, is currently non-functioning, again because of uh, some compression issues but it is really cool looking and I can I have an adapter so I can put that silencer on here and um, it is a really nice looking weapon and it was my first AEG in my arsenal. This gun has a really high rate of fire pretty much all the time even after the changes I made originally 380 FPS. Okay this next gun is a uh, the King Arms Thompson M1A1. This is the standard edition, so it's got a uh, plastic low receiver, plastic wood, and plastic magazine. Um, this gun shoots 400 FPS. It's uh, really good. It's got a pretty moderate rate of fire. And pretty. It's got a six-round magazine. It uses a really big 9.6 volt. It uh, has a pretty good charging handle. So you can see your uh, port. And it gives me a little issues with the trigger contacts, but it's pretty easy to solve and redo. So this is King Arms Thompson, and it is about like nine pounds or something like that. The whole top and the barrel is all aluminum. All right, so this is my uh, first gas blowback. This is the Novak, as I nickname it, SOCOM Gear uh, Wilson Combat CQB Elite. It is a uh, gas blowback, fully customized with new parts, uh, it's Lilac. Magwell, so it's kind of like a race pistol now. And there's a lot of videos on it, a lot of custom, uh, customizing being done to it. It should shoot about 330 to 350 right now, and it is a pretty high kick. So it's pretty nice looking in 1911. Wee tech? <laughs> Wee tech? Alright. This next gun is a KDOA G23F in two tone, so it's been chromed out on only the sides and then repainted black. On top, bottom, and front, it's got full auto selector switch right here. It's got white dots in sights and a built-in compensated barrel, which looks very cool. And it takes uh, normal mags, including the ATP mags and extended, which I didn't bring out here, but whatever. And it is my second favorite handgun behind this. The other ones I don't really use, so this is a very nice pistol. Last time it was here, it was uh, all black. And it shoots about 350 and the rate of fire on full auto is pretty high. This is a uh, KOA G19. It's essentially the same thing as this, only a couple of minor changes. And it shoots, I think, about 350. It's completely stock, although I replaced the uh, the nozzle in here because it broke. And I put a little modification on the top to make sure. It and I made some homemade fire rock. I didn't bring the back one out because it looks a little too funky, but there'll be a picture of it. And it's essentially new. I got it for forty dollars, and I, this might be for sale. So if you want it, let me know. It'll probably be about a hundred dollars, and it does function. These two guns are Smith and Weston SW40Fs. They are made by. Hmm. I actually don't know who they make. Who makes it? Because there's no trademarks of that, but. Uh, they're not the best of guns, I think they're about $80, they're CO2, so these are the magazines, the extended CO2 mags. The original gun is plastic, it is pretty good, but they have really bad um, hammer springs, so that's the, the 
part that breaks the most on these guns is the full metal version. See, the trigger actually broke off on this too. So these are not the best of guns, but they are essentially pretty cheap. This is uh, my favorite Springer still, the Crossman Stinger P32. It's based on the Colt Defender in real life. 1911 variant, so it's got a weird two stage, even though it's 1911, and it is a uh, okay Springer, I guess. This next gun is a KWC Sig Sauer P226. This is actually a really bad gun. The magazine broke and uh, some faultiness in the magazine release button. It does shoot pretty powerful though for a Springer, and it is kind of a good at. Uh, kind of an accurate representation of P-22, so this would make a good movie prop gun if you painted it, but uh, for airsoft's sake, it's it's pretty bad. All right. This is my first airsoft gun ever. It is the Millennium Taurus PT-111. Uh, it's pretty small, like subcompact. This still works, even though the rest of my guns are broken. Uh, it isn't the best of gun though. It does hold 20 rounds, which is pretty cool. But it'll, the base plate comes off, and the magazine release button doesn't really work too well. But it still works, and is nice uh, size for like a pocket almost, pocket pistol pretty much. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's a decent gun. I think it's about 20 dollars at Walmart. So this is a kind of a, a really bad gun actually. This is a. Uh, well, I'm gonna get the silencer really quick. Galaxy. Yeah, I actually forgot that it was Galaxy. You still going? Mm -hmm. This is a Galaxy G1A. Originally it comes in all black with this pretty bad suppressor, which actually also broke. Let me just get this on there while I talk about it. I took all the paint off, so now it's just uh, chrome. I mean, not chrome, it's just like bare metal. It's pretty crappy. And um, I took the spring out, so it's movie prop now, so I could just do that. And all the parts are still in it, but a lot of things are bad about this gun, so I wouldn't recommend it. It's a $15 gun, Galaxy G1A, uh, full zinc. Alright, this gun isn't half bad. This is a SR Pony Pocket. <laughs> You're gonna laugh again. <laughs> Pony Pocket, .25, pocket pistol. Um, it's a non-blowback gas gun, so the gas just goes in the pistol grip. CO2, um, not CO2, green gas or propane. Don't use propane. And, um... It is a really small gun. It's probably the smallest gun in the arsenal, so it would fit in like a vest or in your shoe or something like that. And it's just a, uh, it's a pretty fast gun in my opinion. You know, it's got a heavy trigger pull, but you can get all seven rounds out decently fast. So that was a uh, ten dollars for that. All right, this last gun is just a Springer. This I forgot to put it in the rifle and SMG category, but it's a M18 II, but it's really a Beretta. CX4 carbine, but it's a lot smaller than the real one, and it's just a shitty Springer that had a charging handle as the racking system, and it's it's a really bad gun. It's like a $15, $15 Chinese gun, but I included it in here because it is an airsoft gun. So, so that was my arsenal. Um, each of these guns should have a video except for some of the shitty Springers. So um, when I get a grenade for the grenade launcher, we're going to see some footage of that, and then you can click on any of the annotations to view the rest of the gun. That's Yep. Alright, this is my FM2000. As and not, Unlike uh, Sphinx Yourself, this one actually works, and I just fielded this one. And uh, I added the MP7 sights on it, which is pretty nice. And uh, I also added the birdcage. My birdcage? Yeah, his birdcage. Because uh, I don't like the little thing that I usually have on it. Um, yeah, it's a good gun. I, I fielded it. Uh, I got a, some good, decent amount of kills, and it's, uh, it's a pretty reliable gun for me. Yeah, and here's my proof that I fielded it right here. <laughs> proof. So yeah, it's a good gun. I, w I would recommend it as long as you as long as you uh, buy one that isn't broken. Here's the what's it called? Token Murray. Token Murray. Um, G36C full trades. Um, it's a very good gun. I also fielded this gun. Um, yeah, it's a v very good uh, gun. It's just reliable. This is just like it shoots really good, and I really like it. It's all plastic, so if you don't like plastic guns, this isn't the gun for you. Um, yeah, it's Tokyo Murray, and it's it's really good. I think it's really good. Battle proven. Both these guns are battle proven. And this gun, I've never fielded, and I don't plan to. Maybe. I don't know. 
Um, it's got the foregrip that goes on that one, because I just like it. I don't really like it on there. Um, it's a good gun, but uh, it's having been having some electrical issues. So I don't know. It doesn't. It needs like a like you got to put like a really overpowered battery to even get it to shoot right. So it's kind of weird. I don't really know what's wrong with it. Uh, I recently dropped this gun, and I kind of messed this up a little bit. Other than that, it's fine. I mean, I don't know. All right. But uh, it still shoots. It still shoots fine. It's, it's a, I don't know. It's a, it's a decent gun. It was my first AEG. It's it's a pretty good gun. It lasted me a long time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be selling it soon to get a Romanian AK, so you probably won't see any more of this gun. So yeah, you can go over the name. Oh, it's a cyber gun. Uh, beta spet, beta spet knots. And yeah, it's pretty good. For a good, I'd recommend this gun if you're looking for a hundred fifty dollar gun. I get it. If you like small AKs. Let's go. Five seven. This gun I got about a year ago. I still haven't shot it. <laughs> I don't have any. It's a use of eight millimeter BBs. We dry fired it. Dry fired it. Did shoot dry fire pretty well. But uh, yeah, I think this gun is uh, it's, it's all plastic again. So um, it's a uh, Mauritian. Yeah, when I was dry firing it, it did. It, I mean, obviously, plastic sides cycle really well. So yeah, I think it's a good gun. I'm planning to get some BBs here for Christmas though. Some eight millimeter BBs for it, and I'll take it to the field. Yeah. I have yet to feel this gun, but I will soon. It'll probably become my, one of my main sidearms. I really like it. Alright, here's the KWA Glock. This is my favorite, my favorite sidearm. I really like this gun. Um, yeah, the only thing that I don't like about this gun, but that's but it can be changed, is the magazine. For some reason, this magazine and this magazine only doesn't, very, doesn't allow the gun to cycle very well. I'm not really sure. But uh, and otherwise, unless you put, if you put another magazine, it works absolutely flawlessly. So it's a pretty good gun. I like this gun a lot. This is my favorite pistol. And yeah, it's the really the workhorse. I really like workhorse guns, to be honest. I don't like primping up my guns or nothing. I just like that's why I did this. I like it. Yeah, KWA uh, G19. I'd recommend it. Um, this one is the KJW G19. I got this for five dollars at a swap meet, and. This gun does shoot, but I had to put some washers in it because it didn't have a recoil rod thing in there. It does shoot though, but uh, I think I need a new slide because this is coming out. Every time you shoot it, this comes out of the frame, a little slide. So, yeah, maybe if, unless I can repair it, then, yeah. But otherwise, this gun shoots actually very well, surprisingly, because it has that fix on it. So, five bucks, I'd recommend this gun. <laughs> but otherwise, I mean, it's a good gun. It's a good gun, and if you find it, I, I get it. But I got it for five bucks, and I think it's a great gun. It's got a safety, unlike the KWA. And this one is lower quality plastic than the KWA, but it's so good. Uh, this is the Tokimuri Desert Eagle Springer. Everyone keeps asking me that it's it's a gas, but it's not it's a Springer. I like it because I like really like the magazine. Kind of reminds me of a real steel magazine. It's a cool gun. And I took it airsofting. I've taken field of this. Almost got a kill, but didn't. But it's I, I fielded it. It was fine. So, I mean, I mean, you can do that like a gas blowback. back. It's pretty good. It's got a hammer. One of the. This is probably the best spring I've ever seen. So yeah, good gun. Metal parts on it. Yeah, I'd recommend this if you're looking for a springer. But they don't really sell these anymore. They're pretty rare. And it's only got adjustable hop up right here. There's a hop up right here. So it's even got adjustable hop up. So not a lot of springers have adjustable hop up, do they? No. Oh no. And you shot your teammate in the dick with that one. <laughs> yeah, that one. Um here is the KWA MP7. This is this was I bought this to replace really I only bought it because it was a really good price on Black Friday. I think it was like 150, so that's the price of a cheap AEG. I mean, you know, beginner's AEG like that one. So I decided to buy it. Um, I, I really like it. I ended up selling my Mac or to I, I ended up selling it, and uh, yeah, this replaces my Mac. So I really like it. Um, I added this on there so I can put a sling on it. It's a very good gun. Um, this is probably the best glass blowback that I have, well, probably because it's brand new. And yeah, we we added a scope on it recently. We added a scope just today, and I, I it turned out I love having the scope on this for some reason. I just do. So I probably won't be returning to the sites anytime soon. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a very good gun. It has a... So, you can do that. 
you can act the bolt. Let's get a look at the bolt. Yeah. It's a good gun. Very good gun, actually. Um, I would recommend this gun fully. If you're looking for an SMG, get this gun. This gun is a, probably one of the best SMGs you can get for the money. So, well, I don't know. I mean, I got it for, for cheaper than it usually costs. But, uh, yeah, I, it's a very good SMG. Impressive SMG. Um, when you're using the stock, you can, a lot of, there's a lot of kick. Um, just very good gun overall. Five, 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5. Good gun. I just wanted to mention that this gun also has full trade, so if you're looking into the full trade, it's got them. So, I mean, honestly, I, I prefer like the old trades on the G36, like that one. So. Mm -hmm. Serial plate. Oh, yeah, it's got, got that. It's, it's a good gun. I mean, this is a great gun. Best SMG, if you ask me. It's a good SMG. Let me see. Let me think if I can think of another SMG that you would want. No. Just get a KBA. Just, just that's not what I say. Get a KBA. Yeah. Get a KBA SMG, you're fine. Licensed by uh, Umarex. Yeah. So that was the 2014 edition of uh, Airsoft Arsenal. Probably the last one. Really, um, really nothing much has changed, but I got one more gun, I got two more guns, those two FN guns. And um, sorry that it got dark, but uh, can't help that since it's winter time now. And uh, there'll be uh, links to every single gun here if they have a video, so you can check any of them out. And uh, that's all for now. Uh, Xbox One's better than PS4. <laughs> <laughs>